I'm scared. Like, this is, what is, this is not real. It feels like it's a, it's a bad dream that I can't even wake up from. Alexandra know? Stone says her life has been a horror movie since last summer. She stands in front of a gaping hole in her ceiling and $20,000 worth of damage to her East Hollywood building. The climax to an ongoing problem with her Section 8 tenant, Robert Sargisian, seen yelling in this video. A picture of your drugs that you're cleaning in the bag. First it started more being annoying and frustrating, you know, and then it started getting worse. Stone says Sargisian, who lives in the unit next door to her, frequently bangs on her door in the middle of the night. She says he has broken her windows and often shows up outside of her windows and yells. Why do you send all my pictures to my neighbor? Everybody has my pictures. And that it's happened more times than she can even count. I saw you rush. So you watch me in my house? Okay, right now, how many stuff? You, you have 90%. You have my shoes. You have my mother's clothes, okay? Stone says she was able to get LAPD to serve Sargisian with a restraining order, but he quickly violated it in a terrifying way in January. On my bedroom window, four in the morning, knocking on my bedroom. My dog started barking, and he's knocking on my bedroom window with a freaking butcher's knife. So, like, I'm on the phone with the police. Like, freaking out. I'm, like, crying, you know. Like, there's a guy with a butcher's knife at my window. She says LAPD did come and arrest him, but he was released from custody almost immediately. Something she says has happened with him at least five times already, while the cases were handled by the L.A. City Attorney's Office. And it's not the police's fault. Like, they are so, they're frustrated. Like, they, they tell me a lot of the times they arrest him, and he's out before they've even able to finish filing their report. I felt like I was just basically waiting for him to kill me. And last week, he's things took a mortifying turn when Stone says Sargisian crawled into their shared attic space and began pounding through her ceiling with a hammer. The ceiling falls on top of my head, hits my head, I, um, and I'm trying to get out of the building. He throws, I, I don't know, I saw a knife fall. I, I don't know what happened, but I'm trying to get out and he throws a hammer at me. He misses me, breaks the glass on the side of my door. I just go outside and I scream at the top of my lungs. Sargisian was then arrested again, but this time it's the DA DA's office, not the city attorney who is handling the case. They've charged Sargisian with multiple felonies, including first degree residential burglary and assault with a deadly weapon. He's remained in jail since his arrest. This could have been prevented months ago. The system has not done nothing to to protect this. Like, what if I died? Stone has tried unsuccessfully to evict Sargisian, and now she has to stay with her mom. She says the system's prior failures to keep Sargisian in custody nearly cost her her life. Like, we live in Los Angeles. This is supposed to be a civilized place, right? The most progressive, amazing place on earth. But it, I think the Wild West would have been better. And the district attorney's office tells us that Sargisian was arraigned in court today where he pleaded not guilty to all of his charges. He remains in jail tonight on a $100,000 bond. Now, as for the city attorney's office, we reached out to them to ask why he was released from custody so many times under their jurisdiction, but we have not yet heard back from them. Reporting in East Hollywood, Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.